This is London Calling. Good evening all, I hope you're all well. Um, it's been a while since I've done a cigar video. Uh, I thought tonight we should change that, so here we go. Tonight, I'm going to be smoking, or this evening I should say, this Coldwell Anastasia. Um, this I think I got a while back from, I think it was Mike Blocker. Uh, it could be as long ago as a year ago, maybe more. Um, it's been sitting in my tupper door for a while. He sent me a good selection of cigars and um, I've smoked them sparingly. Um, so, the description that I've managed to find, there's not that much about them out there. Um, and I'm, what I've noticed as well recently is that some of the big websites don't actually work from the UK. Um, if I try, for instance, uh, cigars cigar.com this is the message that I get due to GDPR regulations our website is currently unavailable to EU member countries I've never seen this before um, and that's to me that seems to be a little bit um, draconian I've not heard about this I don't know if it's a UK or EU law or an American law if anybody knows um, do update me in the uh, bucket below um, so, as I say, it wasn't that easy to find some information, but I did find some on a website called Anthony Cigars, Anthony's Cigars, and the description is as follows, well, it's not coming up now, hang on, okay, here we go. Coldwell has joined forces with Ernesto Perez Carrillo of EPC Cigar Company to create Anastasia, the follow-up project to the Last Tsar 2015 limited edition that depicted Nicholas II, the last Tsar of Russia, on its banned artwork. The new cigar shows an image of Princess Anastasia, the long-lost daughter of Nicholas II, on its band. The cigar ships in 20-count boxes and is rolled at Perez Carrillo's Tabacalera La Alianza S.A., located in the Dominican Republic. Coldwell has not released any details regarding the blend of Anastasia. So, it's a mysterious blend. Um, what I get on, it's, it's in terms of um, how it looks. It's an attractive looking cigar. It's, a, it's sort of a, maybe a shade darker than a Claro, um, but really only the slightest shade. It's, it's a pretty bright cigar in terms of the color of the wrapper. I don't get much of an aroma on the wrapper and on the foot I get a fairly typical um, sort of Dominical, Dominican style aroma, sort of earthy, a little bit chocolatey, a little bit peppery. So t based on that aroma alone it, it smells now before I light it as a fairly typical New World cigar. Um, so let's just cut it. Draw is very tasty. Fruity. A little bit grassy. A little bit chocolatey. A bit cedary as well. So some nice flavours there. It's been a while since I've smoked a non Cuban cigar.
but the first couple of drawers are very woodsy but we'll leave that to burn in a little bit and look at the artwork so that's supposedly princess anastasia in the year that she died apparently i think it's uh, 1918 yeah there you go the date's on there what else does it say one from us okay never noticed that before all right well we'll let that burn in I'll get into the first third and I'll come back well into the first third um, and it's pretty tasty actually um, it's got a quite a distinct um, like a savoury coffee flavour there's a little bit of sweetness just a hint but it disappears very quickly and then it finishes with a like a white pepper savoury kind of note almost mushroomy earthy kind of note to it um, the drawer is tightened up a little bit um, it's it's obviously expanded as it's heated up but it's 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 pretty good <coughs> it's not overly tight but it's just tighter than it was on the dry drawer Got a nice uh, white ash there, which does indicate a good leaf, stacking nicely. It's a robust size. I think this is a 49 ring gauge by uh, five inch, maybe four and a half inch. I'm not sure, um, but it's a robust size, and it's a nice size. Um, <coughs> we'll see how we go into the second third and uh, wow fantastic cigar some beautiful tangy richness coming through and nice rich sweetness um, very very nice um, this is uh, new to me in a non-cuban cigar and um, there are plenty of non-cubans which have richness um, but it's been a while um, and this is lovely really enjoying it halfway mark almost um, probably over the halfway mark of the smokeable, smokeable part of the pipe first band coming off in fact I might as well take the other one off at the same time I don't know what this uh, run from us is not quite sure what that's all about it's a pretty band Flavors are still very nice, very rich, sweet, tangy, and a little bit of a very mild pepper, earthy flavor as well. Quite a lot going on, in fact. Very interesting cigar. At the moment, it's pretty mild, and uh, we'll see how it goes. Well, coming to the end of the cigar now, um, just very slightly starting to turn, um, but. Uh, it's been a, a, an excellent cigar throughout. Construction went a little bit off. Um, it kept on trying to go out, but we got past that stage. That was just sort of midway through the second third. Um, but um, let's just summarize. It started off, um, for the first few draws, it was quite woodsy and, uh, I wouldn't say bitter, but it just wasn't particularly nice, but that was, you know, just on the light up. Um, settled down very nicely. Um, got uh, coffee, chocolate, um, earthy tones, leathery, cedar, um, and that developed through the second third into richness, into tang, um, spice, sweet spiciness, um, very, very nice flavours. Um, I wasn't particularly uh, enamoured with the aroma, the room note. Um, it's a little bit bitter, the room note, which you do get on, on quite a few non-Cubans. Um, but um, it doesn't detract from the fact that it was a very tasty cigar. Um, final third, the tanginess sort of waned a little bit, but it's still a very pleasant cigar. 
Um, an excellent cigar throughout, really. Um, I would say that the, the, the middle third was probably the best for me on this one. Um, quite unusual, that. Um, but um, very, very nice cigar. So let's just give it some marks. I um, haven't done this for a while, so <laughs> um, hopefully it'll come through okay. Um, so in terms of construction, so as always, we'll split this into visual construction and mechanical construction. Visual construction, very, very nice, attractive cigar, nice color on the wrapper. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the really dark Corojo type wrappers. Um, so for me, this was very nice. Um, it was very well rolled, uh, pretty seamless. It wasn't uh, rustic or anything like that. It was a really, um, if I took the bands off, I could quite easily um, think that this was a Cuban cigar before cutting it. Once you cut it, obviously, you do see the difference in the tobacco, the yellow tones of the tobacco and um, the type of uh, almost the, the, the Maduro style tobaccos that you get with the really dark wrapper and the contrasting lighter colored tobacco inside. Um, so visually very very nice, um, the, the roll, the fill was very good, a little bit of sp uh, sponginess, a little bit of give as, as it ought to be, but not too much, um, and it was a very nice cigar to hold. Um, visually it gets a 9 out of 10, for, I mean very very good. Um, mechanical construction for me was not perfect, it was okay, um, it was pretty good, it was a little bit um, uh, snug, um, I wouldn't, not really tight, um, even snug maybe a little bit too strong, um, it was more um, just slightly on the, on, on the tighter side of perfect, but it was very good, um, just not perfect. Um, we did have that hiccup in the middle where it kept on trying to go out, I touched it up very slightly, there, were, there weren't any major deviations on the burn line, um, so for me this has been rolled very well. Um, very efficiently rolled. Um, the, the 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 internal filler uh, blending and rolling has been done very well. Um, so for mechanical construction, I'm going to give this a six and a half to a six and a half to seven. It was okay. It was average. It was it was okay. It was good. It was fine. It really, um, if I was to smoke these on a regular basis, it wouldn't. It's not something that would crop up in my mind every time I smoked it. So it's average. Flavors. Um, for flavor, um, as I mentioned, all of the flavors that I uh, spoke about just um, just before. Um, so for flavor, very, very interesting cigar. Started off with, it was almost like the first third was a, uh, a prelude into what you could expect. So it kind of gave you all the flavors but not necessarily in a cohesive way. So you could taste the sweetness, you can taste a little bit of the tang, a little bit of the chocolate, a little bit of the the, the pepper, uh, very mild the pepper. It wasn't really a peppery cigar, which is for me, I prefer, I don't like really peppery cigars. Um, and a bit of earthiness, a bit of leathery flavors, a bit of cedar, but it wasn't cohesive. It was just a really nice introduction, it's starting to sort of get a feel for the cigar. As you got into the f second third, it kind of all melded and really developed into a very nice, tangy, rich, sweet, um, and earthy. So it was kind of the best of everything, really. But it was much more cohesive in the second third, and it was really, really enjoyable. In the final third, it was pretty much the same, but just laid back a little bit. So it was all there, but just not as much as, as the second third. Um, so an interesting evolution in this cigar. I don't always see a real evolution in, in non-Cubans, but certainly in this one um, that I have, um, and it was very pleasant. Um, in terms of strength, um, it was pretty mild. Um, the the flavor itself was f was f sort of a, uh, definitely a medium in terms of the profile, in, t in terms of the fullness on the palate, it was certainly a medium, um, probably not beyond that, but the strength I would say was mild to medium. Um, so. A very, very pleasant cigar. All in all, an overall mark, um, I'd give this an 8 out of 10. Which, uh, for a non-Cuban, for me, is a good, is a, is a really good mark. Um, so this has been the Caldwell Anastasia. If you can get hold of it, I would certainly encourage you to do so. If, you, if you're if you a regular non-Cuban cigar smoker, I think you'll enjoy this very, very much. Unless you're really into the really full peppery style cigars. Um, this isn't so peppery. 
um, it's really quite mild um, but medium in terms of body um, so for me it's actually um, a quite a clever cigar because um, for a non-Cuban usually you get strength and, and body at the same time um, I'm sure there's plenty of cigars out there that will give you body without strength um, but for me this is one which stands out in that respect in that, in that uh, area so I definitely recommend it quite highly um, so if you can get it, get it thanks very much for watching and I hope this return to cigar videos um, was agreeable catch you on the next one this is London calling